the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Research Center near Washington, plant physiologist Louis Ziska says weeds, defined as any unwanted plant, appear to be thriving in today's atmosphere, which is richer in carbon dioxide or CO2. And Ziska says agricultural research studies show that if climate trends continue, <coughs> allergy sufferers will have to endure longer and more intense pollen seasons in the decades ahead. The average ragweed plant growing in 1900, in the year 1900, for that CO2 concentration, was producing about 5 grams of pollen. If you go forward in time to the 1990s and look at the CO2 concentration at that time, the average ragweed plant is now producing about 10 grams of pollen. If you go into the future 50 years from now, at that CO2 concentration, that ragweed plant is now producing 20 grams of pollen. Siska began studying allergenic weeds and pollen 10 years ago. He says the more pollen a weed puts out, the more potential harm there is to public health and to agriculture, where weeds can steal water, soil nutrients and light from commercial crops. Siska says one of the most common and most allergenic weeds is the fast-growing plant called ragweed. This is common ragweed coming up in the spring. This gets, can get up to anywhere from four to six feet tall. Dr. Daryl Zelding is a senior investigator and acting clinical director at the National Institute for Environmental Health Science in North Carolina. He says common allergies have been in the rise for the past 10 to 15 years. And he says if there is going to be more pollen from weeds in the years ahead, he's certain the number of allergy sufferers, now estimated at 50 million people, will continue to rise as well. Selden says asthma and allergies are closely related. Most people with asthma also suffer from allergies. Allergies uh, thought to cost the public somewhere in excess of uh, 8 to $10 billion every year in both direct and indirect uh, costs. Asthma is, is, is also a major issue and, and thought to cost billions and billions of dollars a year, not just in doctor's office visits and hospitalizations and emergency department visits. Selding also says there are many causes for allergies, and people with allergies are often sensitive to more than one weed. His latest research on the subject has shown that environmental and genetic factors play a role as well. And there is evidence of a connection between a predisposition to asthma and allergies and obesity and cardiovascular disease. Asthma and allergy are, are, are a major public health problem in the U.S. It costs a lot of money, a major cause of symptoms and hospitalizations and doctor's office visits, and, uh, and you know, there are no real cures. Among the thousands of known weed species, only eight or ten are known to induce allergies. But many species of weeds have become resistant to herbicides. And that means more money will be needed for health and agricultural research including new and safer methods of controlling weeds. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News.